And I also wonder, um, since now they're going to include all the illegals in this census, and they will include them in this health care plan, why is it fair for an illegal immigrant to be eligible for health care over an older American that has paid taxes their whole life? I, I won't name uh, people in Congress or people in Washington, but there's some people that think it's a terrible problem that grandma's laying in the hospital bed with tubes in her uh, and, and think that there ought to be some government policy that enters into that. I'm just on the opposite. Let's be truthful. I, I think that that's a, I think, I think that's a family and a religious and or ethical thing that needs to be dealt with. And there's some fear because in the House bill, there's counseling for end of life. That's it. Uh, and uh, from that standpoint, uh, you have every right to fear. Uh, you, should, uh, you shouldn't have counseling at the end of life. You ought to have counseling 20 years before you're going to die. Uh, you, ought to, you ought to plan these things out. And, uh, you know, I don't have any problem with things Things like living wills, but they ought to be done within the family. Yeah. We should not have we should not have a uh, we should not have a government program that determines you're going to pull the plug on grandma. Thank you all very much for coming.